guys welcome back so I'm doing a voiceover today because I'm not feeling a hundred percent but I did want to go ahead and talk about this new Carmi and Revolution collab palette it's the make magic palette and as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous in this blue packaging now on the back it does list all of the ingredients as well as how much product you get it's cruelty free and it does have a 12 month shelf life. There's a mirror in this palette, a nice large mirror, and these are the shadows that you see here. There are 20 different shadows which consist of matte, shimmers, satins, toppers. There are all kinds of finishes in this palette and they are absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead and do some swatches. now. I noticed with this palette that the shimmers and the toppers swatched very nicely while the mattes didn't swatch as nice but you can see that there is pigmentation there and I definitely feel like they perform better than they swatch. Although the swatches aren't terrible, they're not the best swatches that I have ever seen. <laughs> so. This is what this palette is swatching like on my skin tone, you guys. So it's not too bad. It's pretty, definitely workable. So this is what that palette looks like, you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into this look that I created for you guys today. Yes, this is me, Plain Jane. I'm starting out with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm doing something I normally don't do, which I'm doing my face and complexion first instead of my eyes first. So I'm just using this Tatcha primer in mainly in the areas where I want to fill in my pores. Now I'm also going in with my Wet n Wild concealer and just using that under my eyes and around my mouth to kind of conceal the dark areas before I go in with my foundation today. This is something that I haven't done in a while. I usually, well, I used to use a color corrector, but I'm testing out using concealer just to see which way I like better. So for foundation today, I'm using my Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I do use the shade F13, and this foundation is one of my favorites. It has a nice doe foot applicator. I really, really like the coverage. It's nicely matte. The shade fits me perfectly and it does cover up a lot if not all of my imperfections even without the concealer or color correcting. So I definitely like this foundation because it's easy to apply, covers nicely and it's a great shade match for me. Now I'm going in with some of my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and this one is in the color C13 and I'm just using a little bit of this as you can see to just help to make sure that I cover up those dark circles under my eyes as well as I'm using it on my eyelid a bit because I'm not going to go in with a separate eyeshadow primer today. I'm just going to use this concealer to prime with. Now I'm taking my J-Cat Banana Powder and I'm using that under my eyes just to kind of add a little bit of brightness under there and to make sure they are nicely set for this look today. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Derma Blend Powder. And this is a translucent powder, a loose setting powder. And I like to use this all over my face when I don't want to use a colored powder because I want to keep my foundation the same color without distorting it with a colored powder. So I like this powder, it's nice and fine. As you can see, I'm just using a very small amount and there's no flashback. Now I'm going in with my Morphe bronzer and this is their new bronzer, the Glamour Bronze. And as you can see, I'm just using a soft fluffy brush to go ahead and apply that around the perimeter of my face, on my cheeks, and as you can see, it's definitely giving me that nice sun-kissed look. I love this bronzer, it's definitely one of my favorites, and it works perfect for me. So now let's go ahead and jump into this gorgeous palette, you guys. These shadows are just super duper pretty. They're not the most pigmented, but 
I really, really enjoyed the ones that I used today. So let's go ahead and start out with this burgundy shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that in my crease area. And as you can see, it's very nicely pigmented. I mean, I was actually shocked at how pigmented it is, but it worked out very, very well for me. I'm just placing that with a crease brush. Now I'm going into this beautiful burnt, burnt orange shade. Yes, these shadows have names, you guys, but you guys know it's hard for me to see <laughs> the small writing. But I'm using this burnt orange shade to smoke out that burgundy. And as you can see, those two colors just blended so beautifully together. I really, really like how that turned out. Now for my lid today, I'm going into this beautiful gold shade. And I'm spraying my brush, which really isn't necessary, you guys, because the color definitely popped. But this shadow can be a bit crumbly. If you pick up a lot like I did, it can definitely flake off and crumble a bit. Now, I am just placing this all over my lid, not necessarily trying to create a cut crease. It did kind of turn into one a little bit, but I did go ahead and smoke it out with some more of that burgundy shade. So you have to be careful with that gold. You can get a bit of fallout if you're not careful, but it's a beautiful shadow to work with. So now I'm taking that same burgundy shade, dragging it along my lower lash line as you can see. Just want to create a nice connection with the upper lid and the lower lash line. I'm also taking that orange and using that to smoke out my lower lash line as well, just to bring this whole eye look together. Now for eyeliner, I'm using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just placing a nice thin line above my lashes. I'm not doing a wing today. I really like this smoky look, so I didn't think a wing was necessary. Now for my lower lash line, I'm using my Milani. Just It's just the Milani pencil liner. It's the stay put liner and I really, really like how black and smoky it made this eye look. For my lashes, I'm using my Pixie Mascara on my upper and my lower lashes. And for my inner corner, I'm going into this really pretty light shimmer shade and just placing that just on my inner corner. There aren't too many inner corner shadows to choose from, but this one worked perfectly today. Now for my blush and my highlight, I'm going into my Sephora Spice Market Palette going into this beautiful fuchsia colored blush and just placing that on my cheeks and my cheekbone area and for highlight I'm taking this beautiful gold shade and as you can see it just creates the most perfect highlight on your cheeks or upper cheek area I'm also using this on my brow bone as well as on my nose and my cupid's bow today so I really really love this palette it's just perfect to use for your whole face. Now for the lips, I know you guys are sick of this Ellery lip liner, but it's my favorite. So what we using today. <laughs> and I'm going in with my LA Girl Matte Lipstick, and this is in the color Gossip. Beautiful red matte lip. And I'm just placing that in the center. And to set this look, we're going in with our Morphe Setting Spray using that to just set this look and it worked perfectly i mean that setting spray is the bomb if you haven't tried it you guys i definitely suggest you try it so this is the look today you guys i hope you like it i didn't do a bright colorful look even though it is a colorful palette i wanted to just showcase that you can do a beautiful smoky eye with a gold lid as well with this palette so everyone i hope you are happy and blessed and I hope you enjoyed this little look I created. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!